Once again, I'm coming in hot, with a hastily written script and a quick take on a popular topic. Recently, Mark Miller made a comment that has stirred up some controversy. There are those defending him and those pointing out the error of his opinion. What is that opinion, you might ask? He recently stated that there hasn't been an independent hit since Saga. Well, he said a few more sketchy things, but that's the one everyone is focused on. One reason I'm not inclined to investigate this claim is the context. Miller was speaking to a group of fans, and it seemed like an informal conversation. People say unsupported crap in a setting like that, and it's difficult to take any claims seriously. If it's something he's repeated multiple times on different occasions, then I might be more inclined to take a closer look. But I'm not. The only reason I'm making this video is to answer all those who have asked me for my opinion on this matter. Well, here goes. On the surface, this doesn't sound accurate, but maybe he's right. The facts and figures will tell the real story. However, all I've seen is both the supporters and the detractors not doing the necessary investigation to either prove or disprove that statement. So, let me tell everyone, regardless of one's position, how to do that. It's very easy, but time-consuming. Really, this is some basic sh** right here. An average idiot like myself shouldn't have to explain how to make a proper argument or do proper reporting. But apparently I do, because I've yet to read one article or view one video where there was actual data being analyzed, even though it's just sitting there, readily available. First we need a metric, which is easy. That would be the monthly sales of Saga. I would suggest taking the sales figure from issue 54, the last issue before it went on a four-year hiatus and compare it to issue 58, which was the fourth issue published on its return. Why that issue? Because retailers probably presume there'd be a sales spike due to it finally returning. So for the first three issues, orders were probably a bit inflated. The fourth issue is where sales reflect actual demand after its return. In fact, I got those numbers for you. So, an independent success, such as Saga, would have monthly sales that land between those two numbers. Or if you want to be a bit granular, a success in 2018 sales would be roughly 36,000 copies, and a success in 2022 would be 44,000 copies. So depending on the year of publication, an equally successful independent comic should have sales in that range. Wow, step one is already done and I did all the work for you. You can thank me later. Now the second part takes a time investment. All you have to do is make a list of independent titles and compare their monthly sales to that above metric. You can essentially throw away the first three months of sales because, once again, they'll be inflated numbers. You'll want to look at issues 4 through 6 to get a good median of the yearly success of a title. If you want to be thorough, compare that to the 12th issue sales too. This will also indicate whether sales are rising or whether you're seeing some expected reader attrition. Now you'll have a good idea whether a title can be considered a success in relation to Saga. There's a list of image titles making the rounds, so why not use that as a beginning point? But there's also Boom and Dark Horse, for example. No need to limit yourself. Honestly, anything in the 25 to 30,000 range is pretty good for an independent title, but I'm not lowering the bar here. I'm just saying, unless the creator has an expensive drug habit, they're probably doing all right with those sales. One last point. Limit yourself to titles that begin during or after 2012, which was the year Saga launched. If you want to go nuts and add even more data, repeat the above process for trade paperback sales. Because honestly, there's going to be someone who says, yeah, but Saga is even more successful in trade paperback sales. So you might as well be thorough and see if those sales are equal to sales by other independent titles. Guess what? Now you have data to support your argument. You got them receipts, as the kids say nowadays. And I'm guessing all it took was a few hours of using the searchable, publicly available resource, Comicron. Now you can write an actual report using actual numbers. You can even make a nifty graft if you're so inclined. But for the love of all that's unholy, do the damn research and stop stating your opinion as fact, because it isn't. Or for that matter, using allegedly leaked internal memos to disprove a claim. Learn to, you know, actually think critically and do some damn research. Seriously, your audience deserves better. So, do better. That is my opinion on this matter. Have a great day. Talk to you later. There'll be a video later this week. Don't worry. This is just something I whipped up.